While officially opening the Commonwealth Business Forum, the Australian Premier said the meeting is convening during a time of challenge, opportunity and transformation, citing China and India having almost tripled their share of the global economy over the past two decades alone, the Asian century coming at high speed. Citing growth rates in Ghana and Botswana, where economies have grown 9 and 16 times larger respectively, she painted a picture depicting the possibility of an African century. And as delegates from Commonwealth countries are meeting to discuss around the theme of partnering for global growth, the Commonwealth Business Council projects that Commonwealth investment flows are expected to reach $220 billion in 2015, more than double what was achieved in 1997. On the other hand, Commonwealth trade is expected to triple over the same time frame. On his part, the Director General of the Commonwealth Business Council, Mohan Kohl, hopes that Commonwealth leaders will take a fresh look at how the bloc works considering the evidence of economic evolution around the world. Mr. Cole said the new Commonwealth is characterized by the fact that 17 top business performers in Africa are members of the body. Rwanda is ranked third in this regard after South Africa and Mauritius respectively. The chief executive officer of the Rwanda Development Board, John Gara, said that tomorrow a special business breakfast will be hosted by the Rwandan delegation where investment opportunities in Rwanda will be showcased. President Paul Kagame is among the 16 heads of state and government who will attend the business forum and deliver a keynote address on reshaping partnerships for sustainable growth. This is the seventh edition of the Commonwealth Business Forum. Flora Kaitesi, Perth, Australia.